It's gonna be I'm a shy, it's gonna be I'm a shy. It's gonna be I'm a shy. Woke with Meg, you can die to die. It's gonna be I'm a shy, I'm a shy. People wanna stay alive. Fuck with Nick, you gon' die to die. Hey, we ain't talk about some rap beef. Some rap beef looks like the girlies of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? They was tired of little Durkin NBA young boy Benzino and Eminem. They like we gotta throw our little hats in the ring a little bit. And finally, Meg has said some stuff back at Nikki. Now. These motherfuckers been had a tiff. I don't know exactly what happened. Nikki said some shit. And it's probably going to be two videos about this shit. I ain't going to lie to you. But we mostly going to break down who she was dissing in her uh, track called Hiss. And then all the other shit we're going to talk about in another video. Basically, I personally don't even know how this be. So they look cool. I'm thinking because Nikki revealed like um, they was having a conversation or whatever. Meg was turned. She was like, hey, you should go drink. It's fine. You could go to the clinic after making a joke about uh nikki you trying to get pregnant or maybe she was pregnant at the time and she was just making a joke maybe it was distasteful should i have made that joke but i feel like it was a joke it wasn't that serious and nick should get over that and people don't play about the kids and maybe nikki was trying for a while to have a kid anyways i personally think it was because you know they did the song hot girl some of those doing their thing and then meg went to go link up with cardi you know that's nikki nemesis and it's basically like if you f with my ops is f you like some 50 cent type of shit basically nikki adopted and it was what it was also in the background we see lotto and ice spicing tin beefing that's a whole separate video as well but it kind of comes back to niggas is clicking up as well because you know what i'm saying but besides that we all know lotto and nikki had their beef and ice spice fuck with nick so hey it is what it is besides all that we really uh to talk about this his track now she dropped the track his i will say this we all know she kind of in album rollout mode she dropped cobra which was cool i ain't gonna lie pa pa oh, what's his name party pa patterson fonte he got her the fuck out of here with his track like what's got the person <laughs> i ain't gonna lie he got her out of here with it um that cobra song i ain't gonna lie he got her out of here with it with that being said she dropped his and she had like subliminals for everybody we're gonna talk about the nikki one because nikki was just outraged and apparently at the time of recording this video it is the monday she's supposed to be dropping dropping her this track called bigfoot later on today so hey we'll see what happens with that but besides all that we're gonna get into this his thing you already know what it is you know i'm the kid you know i talk my itty bitty little fleas let's just get right to it fuck all the intros and all that shit so she just like nick nick drake um who is she this tori but we all know you're gonna catch some bars probably this album probably next album she gonna reference that and she gonna have like some more shots at tori more than the fake news album i think it was called whatever the fuck it was called did she just ending on trauma scene i don't know anyways who else she this uh drake tori nick P partisan fontaine joe but joe button thinks he got like a fucking subliminal again another video um and hey, thank you, Nikki and Meg. Y'all gave me some shit to talk about. I appreciate y'all. Besides all that, man, we uh, are <clears throat> to talk about this shit. Now let's just go through and see who she dissed. Um, yeah, I don't really care. Y'all know the situation, but okay, let's see. Okay, so. This is where one of the lines where she could have this Drake. I don't know. Hold on. Am I skipping? I don't know if I skipped the partisan this. I just want to see something here. No, okay. I didn't skip that. Um, I guess she's dissing Kenneth Benny, but Kenneth Benny and Nikki is together. Like, yeah, it's like one person. Let's keep it but Anyways. So, Drake. These niggas hate on BBLs and be walking around with the same scars. Real curvy, no edging. N words, niggas fight to get in my section. Don't speak on my body count if the. No, that's more. No, the niggas hit on BBLs and walking around. And then, like, there was some, yeah, cos cosplay gangsters, fake ass accents. Yeah. Um, don't speak on my body count if your member ain't worth coming back for seconds. So, is he insinuating for Drake? Is you insinuating for Drake? I don't think this is about Drake. I don't think this line's about Drake. I think that's more about Party, her ex. 
But is you insinuating you fuck Drake, which at this point I wouldn't be surprised who the fuck you fuck you fucking a lot of these things. But the BBLs thing we all know, like Joe Budden and other niggas been saying, this nigga Drake got a tummy tuck. I wouldn't be surprised and don't get it. I don't think Drake got a BBL. That's crazy if a nigga got a BBL so you could put on jeans and it looks nice. You know, you have more shape in your pants. That's crazy. I don't believe so. Hey, like, what's that nigga name? Uh, Man Man Kevilson. Niggas get the opposite of the BBL. Take that shit out and they do the ab sculpting and shit. They try to look good. They try to look trim for the summer. Honestly, niggas is getting surgeries nowadays. It is what it is at this point. I ain't mad at it. Hey, do y'all think you got the funds, nigga? It is what it is. At this point, all I can ask is, is this nigga will sponsor me. You know, one of the top artists in the world. But, hey, and I, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of do believe that nigga got it. Like, I'll fucking tell me to Besides that, um... I don't know, hey, uh, Drake said some shit in the past, then I think it was the Her Loss album, I don't know if it's, oh, uh, yes, um, to, uh, Her Loss Sleeper, um, Circle Loco, which, uh, Drizzy raps, this bitch lie about getting shots, but she's still a stallion, uh, while a reference to a woman lying about getting surgery on its face, some believe her bar, uh, to be, some believe his bar to be a double entendre about, uh, Drake thinking man could be lying about being shot by torn lanes in the midst of the high profile case. Also, by the way, with that being said, like we all know, like Drake and Tor like Tori is a nigga, bro. They cool. So hey, is you really surprised niggas both from Canada? Like it even and honestly, yo, bro, regardless, bro, that that court case, that court case was a mess. I'm sorry. Like regardless, yes. Did the nigga get charged for shooting Max down here? No, he got charged for discharging a gun with bodily harm and all this other shit. Cool. Was it 100% you got your charge because you shot this woman right here? No, there were some other charges he got. But anyways, it is what it is. What my nigga get like, what, 20, 10 years? He might be straight. 10 years, he might, you know, I ain't gonna lie, he might be good. Especially if he recorded. Shit, he'll be fine. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, Lil Yachty attempted to quell the backlash, which didn't seem to help. Drake didn't do himself any favors on its All A Blur tour. On the It's All a Blur Tour Houston stop when he shouted out a photographer named the Meg and not the Stallion, which only inflamed the situation with some fans. Got it. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, DJ Carnage? And <laughs> DJ Carnage apparently said, too, this nigga got a tummy tuck. Anyways, besides all that. Here's what she said about Nikki. These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all don't want to start. Bitch, you a pussy. Never finna check me. Every chance you get, bet your weak ass don't address me. Well, she, well, she has been talking about you, so. I don't think this line is about Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> I, in the past, Meg was like, I'll go at somebody if they say my name. Nigga, who the fuck else is Nikki talking about when she's like, I haven't effed with horses since Christopher Reeves. Stay in your Tory lanes. Like, come, we know she talking about you, gang. Like, come on. Stop all this little nonsense. You finally spoke back. It is what it is. But anyways, everything was cool. Yeah, Like, I insinuated Hot Girl Summer. She did the WAP video. Yeah. Subliminal Shots. Uh, in the years since, Meg seemingly uh, lambasted Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, who was a registered sex offender, while referencing Megan's law, which requires the public disclo disclosure of some information about uh, registered sex offenders to the public may protect themselves. Also, like I always say about Nicki shit, even though that nigga did this shit, I'm not like um, giving him a pass on it. I still do feel like it's fucked up. Like, niggas kind of have to know you in the neighborhood or where you kind of stay at because, like, she's, like, a famous individual. Like, if he does live with her, it's kind of fucked up because she's Nicki Minaj. It is fucked up. That aspect is fucked up. But besides that, um, the next few lines could be calling Nicki Minaj out for never publicly addressing. Nigga, we all know who she's talking about. Like, bro, come on. I'm like... I ain't gonna lie. Then she hopped on IG Live to preview her fucking... A Bigfoot this bad bitch. She like six foot. I call her Bigfoot. Bitch fell off. I said get I said get up on your good foot. <laughs> Bro. Yo, Nikki's stupid. I was like, why the fuck? 
<laughs> Why'd you say that? <laughs> yeah, the Megas live in for Kenneth Pretty, like I said. That's more for Ken Big Big Kenneth. So yeah, he is part of the five. So this is what Partisan Fontaine, what he got. You know what I'm saying? He can't move on. Can't let it go. He hooked nose full of that Tino Snow. And since niggas said since niggas uh need Megan help to make money, bitch, come be my hoe. Listen, Meg, I get it. You clap back at what he said on the person with it. <laughs> if it's true, bro, you you you, you did not tell that nigga you was fucking around with Tory Lanez or the or the baby. And that nigga found out like the rest of us, yo, that's crazy. And I'm so hey. I can't be mad at that nigga, gang. B Prison was great. It was crazy. It got your shit out of here. I ain't gonna lie. It got your shit out of here. I did a video on that. You go to I broke that shit down. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Tory Lanez, uh, download J Pace since y'all N words got so much to say, or or schedule a conjugal visit or something. Basically, talk about Tory Lanez and all his fans. Every time she do something, the fans is in our comments. Free Tory this, free Tory that, and yeah. Talk about, hey, y'all was doing all this shit, this shit over now, hey. Go ride him, go do all this, go put some money on his books, you know, give him commissary, or go schedule a conjugal vision if you love that motherfucker so much, which, sir, being petty is what it is. But hey, it's still gonna be there. And like I said, bro, the way that quirk is went down, it was so confusing. Like, bro, at this point, after going through that court case, do, do I believe Kelsey was 100% innocent? Yes, she got, like, clemency or, or whatever the fuck she got. um, Or whatever, she was protected. But, bro, that shit just was... I don't know, bro. Am I going to outright say this nigga took the gun? Do I believe them niggas was fine? Yes. Her and Kelsey, yes. Could a gun possibly have been involved? Yes. Do I believe that nigga Tony Lins was, like, trying to take this girl life? No. How drunk does a nigga got to be? That is crazy. I'm sorry, bro. It couldn't happen, but that is crazy. I'm sorry. But I don't know. I'm in the middle of this shit. Yes. Did that nigga discharge a firearm? Yes, he did. But I don't know if it was to commit bodily harm at the end of the day. Who fucking know? All I know is, hey, <clears throat> some shit happened, and it was what it was. But that was pretty much all the five niggas she dissed. And honestly, hey, I'm I'm waiting to see the Nikki thing now. And yes, Nikki is doing some um fucking practicing cadences and doing this shit. We should be able to hear Bigfoot. At this point, though, honestly, like I just feel like this is just over the car, mostly over the Cardi shit. And I don't know, like it is. I've been hearing basically like when Nikki first came out, uh, Lil Kim wasn't embracing her. And it looks like Lil Kim is doing that because Meg, Lotto, Cardi B. Like, again, if all of them kind of fuck with each other, but they don't really fuck with you, it is what it is. Like, it looks crazy. It looks like you ain't fucking with niggas at the end of the day. I ain't gonna lie. If fucking Drake and Nikki do a song just dissing Meg at this point, it is what it is. I don't mind. Like, this nigga Drake will do like fucking. Um, 6.30 in Houston and fucking just, just, throw, just throw a one two about Megan there. I'm sorry. But anyways, with that being said, bro, at this point, it was a decent song. I don't know when she's going to go into album mode because she's trying to sell an album. It is what it is. But like, Nicki got time. She dropped her shit. She got time. She going to go on tour eventually. So she got time to drop some shit and just diss your ass. She do got time. So we'll see what happens we'll see about it but it is what it is i didn't expect nikki to get as pressed as she did she was tweeting up a fucking storm but hey it is what it is i'm just happy fucking meg finally said so bro because bro nikki was just like boom 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 like just saying it saying it. meg finally came back like yo i'm fucking good start to her shit and i'm happy now i'm not happy for beef but finally bro like it was like at some point she was trying to beat a dead horse all pun intended but hey it is what it is, gang. We're going to see what happens with this. Hey, at least it made some shit entertaining. Say it to say it made shit a little bit more entertaining. But what do you think? Was you happy with the bars? Hey, you happy to see the barbs versus the hot girl? Like, what is we trying to do? But besides all that, you already know what it is. This shit went on too long in this video. Anyways, I'm gone. Slams on peace, you gang. All right. <laughs>